Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change your Shopify URL in Unit23. Your store's URL is an essential part of your online presence. And sometimes you may want to update it for branding or SEO reasons. So in this video, I'll guide you through the process of changing your Shopify store URL while ensuring a smooth transition for your customers. So make sure to stick by and let's start it. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section, simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will be taken to the Shopify home screen or main screen right away. And of course, if you have an account, you can simply go and log in into it. But if you don't, you will have to scroll down first, read more information about Shopify, know uh, more about it, then click on start a free trial. To start a free trial, then you will have to go be paying one of their plans. As you can see from here, you can scroll down, the, uh, you can stop the video and see the plans by yourself. And even the features, you can uh, again, pause the video and see the features that comes with this here and that's it so for me i'm just going to log in into my store or into my account and for you of course you can log in into your account or create a new one depending on whatever suits you if you just created your account you will have first to complete the setup guide of course the setup guide, the setup guide will include like a, adding a first product customizing your online store uh, add pages to your store organize your store navigation add the custom domain and name your store of course this tutorial is going to be about changing the url of our store which is basically at the custom domain this will cost you 50 bucks or 50 dollars as you can see uh, because my current domain name as you can see is this and you can add a custom domain to help customers find your online stores so here basically before we do that of course you'll have to go and customize your online store depending on whatever suits you so you can go to your online store, choose themes from here, or uh, take the themes that are free on the popular theme themes here. You can uh, uh, visit the theme store and get all the free themes provided by uh, Shopify. You can go and get them, use them on your store if you want to. You can even see here a uh, blog post and add more. You can add pages, navigation, and preferences. If you go here to navigation, as an example, we'll be able to do uh, to add some menus and etc. And then preferences here, we'll be able to add some social uh, sharing images and the uh, title meta description google analytics uh, facebook pixel customer privacy password protection and etc so as we said we want to change our url so go to this home screen uh, again and go to add the custom domain and simply click on add domain here if you don't have this page here on the home screen you can simply go to the settings here on this uh, bottom left corner once you click on settings as you can see you will have to simply click on domain and from here you'll be able to change your domain name so as you can see buy or connect a domain so secure the perfect domain to or, or for your store that customers can trust and find easily buy a domain that from shopify or connect a domain you already purchases from a third party like google domains or godaddy so you can simply click here to buy a new domain as an example, and you can simply type here the domain that you want to buy. As an example, I'm just going to type uh, hello from word uh, 66 or something like that. And as you can see, you'll be able to buy this uh, domain, uh, of course, at the last .com for 15 bucks uh, per year. You can buy .net for 18 uh, and you can of course dot org for 17 uh, for nine dollars uh, dot store dot shop for this and etc you can even show the next 10 if you want to see all the options and other than that of course if you own one um, as we said before if you have if you have it or you already purchases on a third party you can simply go and click on connect existing domain and here simply i'll uh, try to connect a domain that i already have click on connects 
And as you can see, connects your GoDaddy LLS uh, domain. To connect this domain to your store, uh, you will need to log in into your GoDaddy because I purchased this in GoDaddy. LLS, once logged in, your DNS settings will be modified and your domain will connect instantly. You can connect manually if you want to. You want to do it and you can simply choose the connects automatically for me i'm just going to choose automatically if you if i click on choose automatically here i'll have to sign in into my account right here so simply i'll even sign in with google sign in with my account and let's just wait for it until it's signed in and as you can see it's processing so as you can see connecting your domain this is the domain to shopify site from shopify requires we disconnect sentence from uh, ga uh, down forward and change your some dns records show dns records or connects uh, this domain and change your domain dns NS records and of course you can see dns records from here as you can see so those will be changed so simply i'm just going to click on connect here and as you can see success you have successfully enabled this service shopify sites from shopify uh, for this so click on close and as you can see verify the connection and as you can see uh a and c name entered incorrectly check that you entered the required value and verify your connection again so they have a problem on a and c name directories or dns records i'll have to go and change them and simply as you can see domain connection is completed some providers take a few minutes to update settings you can check later for connection updates and again if you go and change those a and c name directories you can simply go and verify the connection but of course that if you have your um, url already bought on another websites like godaddy google domains or i don't know bluehost or something like that and as you can see, the, at the moment, this is our URL. You can even click here to change a new, uh, a new my uh, Shopify.com domain. So as an example here, I'm just going to put like this. Uh, this is, is already exists. So I'm just going to add some num the random numbers, even add more. And as you can see, you can add this domain. As you can see, this domain can be added free without any cost. But the domain is looking a bit ugly to be honest because as you can see it's just going to be the name and the name could be taken and as you can see it's going to be after that dot my shopify.com so this is not that good so basically you'll have to go and buy a domain name and pay like around 15 to even 20 bucks per year or even go and get it from another website and connect it from here and you will simply be good to go so you can even uh, check the changes and confirm all the changes and review and update the website links. It's very important. So after even changing the URL, uh, you will have to review your website's contents and update any internal or external link that you may have used on uh, the previous URL. And this step is crucial to ensure like seamless user experience. And of course, make sure to redirect the old URL. Uh, this is very recommended. So to prevent like broken links and maintain SEO ranking, consider uh, setting up the URL redirects from your old store URL to the new one. You can do this by using the Shopify built-in URL redirects feature or by using a third-party app. You can test in your new URL and you'll be now good to go with your new URL. So if you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully changed your Shopify store URL without any problems. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.